Hey everyone, it's Gus from Pi My Life Up and today I'm taking a look on how to mount a USB drive on a Raspberry Pi. This is a pretty quick and simple tutorial but will hopefully clear up a lot of questions I get on mounting a USB drive. Now this guide will only teach you on how to locally mount the drive. If you want this to be available over a network then be sure to check out my tutorial on the Raspberry Pi network attached storage. Before we get started it is important to know that most external hard drives will require require a powered USB hub. If you're just using a normal thumbstick then you will be just fine. In the latest version of Raspbian and Jesse, your USB drive should automatically be mounted when it is connected to the Pi. If you haven't yet upgraded it is important to know when you upgrade to Jesse from Wheezy there might be a few compatibility problems with older projects and tutorials. Automatically USB drives are usually mounted into slash media slash pi. If we use ls slash media slash you can see that there are no drives currently connected. I will insert one now and if we use the same command you can see that a new folder exists called pi. Inside this folder is another folder with a weird name. This is the UUID of the USB drive. You can also check where the drive has been mounted by using the following command sudo cat slash proc slash mounts As you can see the drive has been automatically mounted to slash media slash pi ca1c-06bc If we use ls slash media slash pi ca1c-06bc you can see all the files that are created on the USB stick Now this will be fine for most projects and just normal use, however you might come across some problems if you want to restrict access to a specific user for example. In our next step we'll mount the drive to a custom folder using the fstab file. Now if you're using an nfts drive then we will need to install the package. If you're on Raspbian and Jesse this is already pre-installed but if you're on Wheezy then we need to install it. To do this enter sudo apt-get install ntfs-3g. Because I'm on Raspberry and Jesse you can see that the package has already been installed. Now if you don't know the drive UUID then it is the same as the folder name we saw earlier. You can also get a list of drives currently connected to the Pi using the following command ls-l slash dev slash disk slash pi dash UUID. Now there is likely to be quite a few drives listed. Simply look out for any drive that has an address of slash SDA star. A star is a number. In my example it is 1, so we'll use the UUID of CA1C-06BC to mount to. Now it is important that we create a clean directory to mount the USB to. To create the directory enter the following sudo mkdir slash media slash USB1. Next we will need to obtain both the UID and the GID. These numbers are important as we need them to set the permissions correctly for the drive. To do this enter the following to get the GID. ID dash G Pi. Now remember if you're using a different user other than Pi then make sure you replace Pi with the relevant user. And for the UID enter the following command ID dash U Pi. Next we need to make an edit to the fstab file. This is the file that is read by the mount command automatically on boot up. To edit this file simply enter the following command sudo nano slash etc slash fstab. Now at the following line the bottom of this file remember to change anything that is different for your setup. So mine for example is uuid equals ca1c dash 06 bc slash media slash usb1 space auto space no fail comma uid equals 1000 comma gid equals 1000 comma no a time space zero space zero once you are done press ctrl x then y to save and exit. Now since the Pi automatically mounts the drive we'll need to unmount the drive so we are able to mount it under our new directory. A simple way to do this is to just use the following command sudo u mount slash dev slash sda1. Now use the following command to mount the drive sudo mount dash a 
Now if we use the ls command we can see the contents of our USB drive in our new folder ls slash media slash USB1 and there it all is. If you want to make sure all the drives are restored after Pi has rebooted then simply run the following command sudo reboot. Once the Pi has finished rebooting the drive should now be mounted. To test again just use the ls command ls slash media slash usb1 hopefully your usb drive is now mounted to the raspberry pi if i've missed anything important you're having trouble or anything else feel free to drop a comment below or over at pymylifeup.com until next time have a good one looking for more pi projects to do check out these 21 awesome pi projects that anyone can do don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.